Hello, this is Mama's Oracle here with another pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. This reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. There I go again with <laughs> my charger notification. I wanted to do an additional message for Divine Feminine Collective, what incoming energies are buzzing around that collective, and advice, okay? Yes. Let us see, let us see. <clears throat> What does the Divine Feminine Collective need to know at this point in time? Hello. Okay. Uh-huh. What do we need to know? divine feminine collective need to know well there's a lot of pain here your energy is um balancing itself out right now i feel like you could have gone through a lot recently so spirit is kind of encouraging you to rehabilitate your state so whether it be emotionally mentally just take your time patience is required i feel with yourself and your surroundings What incoming energies surround the Divine Feminine? Looking very independent. With the Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Wands overall energy is a form of communication. It could be an inspired action somebody wants to take towards you. This is communication. Confirmed by the Eight of Wands behind it. This is someone who could be in the planning stages of something, and this communication is part of their plans. Again, I don't know who it's coming from just yet, but this is the incoming energy is communication. This is someone who has been up at night about these plans, who has been up at night about this communication with the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands. Miss them up at night. These are the plans <laughs> to communicate. Um, this person can't rest <clears throat> without executing this. We have the Four of Coins, which is someone who is maybe holding on to something. There's something karmic about the way things balance itself out. This is someone who... I get a vibe of they need to answer to the balance of things, universal law, because they've held on to you energetically. This is someone who doesn't really want to let go, but they need to answer to something bigger than themselves in doing this. That's why in them not letting go of you, they're up at night thinking about their next course of action and communicating with you. <clears throat> I am seeing a treacherous energy here at the back, which is the Five of Swords, which is someone who could be trying to like get the upper hand in some way, shape, or form, or there's an energy of jealousy around you. Let's see. Ace of Swords. There could be a truth coming forward in this communication that might rock you. <laughs> the tower to the ace of swords there's a shocking revelation no, i'm just playing but some kind of truth either could have recently rocked your world or is going to rock your world yeah i don't know if this is news but you're going to get clarity on how to move forward nothing stays the same once this comes through 
okay? And everyone's on a different timeline, so this could happen to you this week, next week, a couple of weeks from now. But there's something here that you're going to want to have your guards up for. Okay. Tell me more about the truth. It's like hand-delivered truth. It's heavy. There's an iguana on the rooftop or in the roof. <laughs> and every time I hear him and his fat tail slithering around, it gives me the heebie of the jeebies. But anyway, ain't nobody going up there to chase him out. I sure am not, so <laughs> we are cohabitating. <laughs> Anyways. Mm. <laughs> anyway, this truth is heavy. I'm not really sure what this is. Wow, this truth is to bring justice forward. Um, it's only fair that you know. It's only fair that you're made aware of something so that you can make informed decisions moving forward. It's kind of like the divine doesn't want to see you move through a cycle without knowing some kind of truth to help you determine what's best for you. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Justice. Maybe this will free you up because you've been maybe carrying a lot around and it's like at that tipping point. It'll free you. It'll free your mind. Eight of Swords in the reverse. It's a spiritual lesson that is going to come full circle. Lean on your faith not on your fears okay yes it's almost like <laughs> sorry about that it's almost like um this truth right it's gonna help you decipher what's been bad for you versus what's been good for you or what's best for you either way it's going to free you up from some kind of indecision i also see somebody here not very happy with your good karma coming in it's almost like there's some mm, this is so much heavier than i thought it would be in the sense that the divine <laughs> the divine i had so many interruptions in this like it's gonna look i'm gonna try to piece together all the synchronicities okay there's an iguana on the roof i would look up what iguanas mean in your dreams because they're they're enemies okay and um I would also look up, anyways, <laughs> there was an iguana in the driveway and he was slowly dying and I was giving him water so that he could kind of, I thought it was just a really hot day and, and he was in the shade, but the driveway is really hot. So I was pouring water around him so that it would touch him and I gave him some water. Then when I drove off, I realized that he was really dying because I could see it in his physical body. He was very gray and he was just like <laughs> defeated, but again, enemies, right? I see some kind of decision happening in the ethers that benefits the Divine Feminine Collective. Okay. And I see somebody having to say, have some, having something to say about it. And that might also give you an indication as to who is not on your side. It's kind of like, well, who's cheering for you? Who is not? This is a lot to do with your success. And this is a lot to do with um, things making it back your way from the past. <clears throat> Receiving. Well, this truth comes with some kind of harmony and stability in your life. This could be a stable relationship. This could be a move, a harmonious environment for you to live, whatever it is. It's almost like it's going to show on you and your surroundings, your season of good karma. 
This all could this could also come with a good relationship. I also see for some of you a verdict um, in a home situation or some kind of legal thing is going in your favor. Wow, I also see marriage in the cards for someone. This is very beautiful. The Hierophant to the Four of Wands is marriage. It is something ordained by the divine. Dang. But you need to be patient and you need to continue balancing out your emotions, your mental space, your heart space, keep clearing. Patience and moderation. I'm being very careful with this reading because this reading feels very important and I've been interrupted already and I didn't want to cut the camera. My mom needed help with how to use Google Maps. Um, Any her. Trying to be very careful, okay? I'm usually a quick talker, but I'm trying to be very, very careful with the way I interpret this. So, Mark. No. This is going to fulfill your cups. I'm very glad I did this reading. Nine of Cups. And there's this like very silent reassurance, okay, that you are going to be sitting in this position. You've carried a lot of wands around. I also feel, <laughs> that sounds weird. You've carried a lot of burdens around for a while, but you've reached a point where that's no longer going to have to be the case because upstairs has decided for you that you don't have to be doing that anymore, okay? Okay. In this ruling, in this conclusion, in this decision, in this clarity, in this shift, I just saw a butterfly zoom out of frame <laughs> from my eyesight. It was the cutest thing. Again, those monarch butterflies. Something is coming full circle and there's this silent reassurance, okay? Hovering in the energy where you just need to know that you're gonna be okay. I feel like you're not going to be short of anything. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled and people are going to see it. They're going to recognize, oh wow, that person is clearly on their higher timeline, but they didn't see you go through these times. You went through some troublesome trying times that have put you in this favorable position right now. So either you've done the work on yourself, you've evolved, I'm seeing another butterfly. <laughs> You've done the work, okay, to some kind of extent where in this season, something goes in your favor. A final decision from upstairs. This feels like universal law, cause and effect, okay, all that good stuff. This goes in your favor. It's not necessarily, not for some, it's as literal as court proceedings, but I don't think so. It's so much more than that. This pesky energy has something to say about it. This is quick communication. It reads more like a hater, like, oh, that person doesn't deserve this, and why did they get to... Um, hello? <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Okay? You have been... I'm hearing years in the running for this position. Whatever this position is. And I don't know why I'm enjoying this reading's energy so much but it's you know what this reads like delayed gratification the seven of pentacles is months to years you have to sit wait and watch sit wait and watch sit burdened wait and watch and it's just like i'm just seeing somebody calmly <laughs> accept this position in life and it's like yeah because you know you know there's a difference between someone who's so thrilled to receive something in this like quirky way and I'm just seeing this calm, like balanced and grounded energy just take up so much space in some kind of position in life that they know they've worked on to get there. Ugh, that energy is fabulous. I just got a rush of chills because it's like nobody sees what happened behind the scenes. This was you. Nobody understands that. Well, these people don't understand that, that's for sure, because they have way too much to say. It's like you're going to make something look a little too easy and that bothers somebody. Queen of Wands, the star, and the strength card. You have to really grow in spiritual strength as well. Oh, man, Hierophant. 
the tower. This is gonna, mm, this is, I'm just, I, ooh, <laughs> again with this, um, these chills. This is gonna rock people's world. This is gonna rock your world. This decision, it's, that's why it's not necessarily like a bad tower. It's actually a good one. It might feel bad at first, but it's a good tower. I'm getting this energy of maybe people who could have doubted you. Why is the tower here? King of Pentacles. Hello. Ten of Pentacles. Three swords behind it. Who is this character? No. Speaking of um, commitments and such, the King of Pentacles is usually a person to commit to or a person who who extends commitment Ooh, um did i just yes i just did though <laughs> um what listen what is that <laughs> okay let's rewind did i not say that this has something to do with a commitment sometimes the four of wands the hierophant did i not say that the king of pentacles is someone who typically extends commitment and then not even in the same breath i get the queen of pentacles that's a couple wow um <laughs> so upstairs it's almost like as above so below upstairs shout out to stacy stacy had a dream about this months ago for those of you who don't know who stacy is um hi stacy can you drop a link to your facebook group in the comment section she had dreamt something about ordained spouses and soulmate connections and she saw like multiple either twin flames <laughs> or soulmates going to the courthouse and um getting committed to in the ethers okay so she knew that it's kind of like only a matter of time before it starts showing up in the physical world i'm seeing chills again how energetically in the ethers right a decision has been made mm -hmm. <laughs> based on how karma plays out in each individual's life as as hocus pocusy as this sounds, I'm just trying to translate what I'm getting. And it's basically forming commitments, contracts, divine contracts to come in based on how each individual carries themselves. This could also be, it's giving me the energy of like God knows your heart. So. I'm just seeing like the scanner <laughs> reviewing where your heart has been, your intentions. That's something that upstairs can review, but people with the naked eye can't. There's someone here who has a lot to say about two people. Yeah, getting committed. Two people getting married. But it has happened upstairs already energetically. And it's going to ground itself physically. This is causing an uproar in the environments that do not align with this union coming together. Okay. Now, who this person is for each individual looks very different. This could be someone you already know. Heck, this could be someone new. But everything is going to get cleared away much like divine intervention gets executed to facilitate this. That means there is a stiff ending, death card to other options. But the goat man is gonna try to tempt a person out of this union regardless. I feel it because <laughs> I see somebody having a lot to say. Let's peck on this Knight of Swords. People could be turning their back on things, moving, traveling. Um, weird. It's almost like as soon as this gets grounded, it's almost like there is a sense of security that once these people do this in the physical world, they will never part. 
And that's why there's defeat here on this person's part who now they can't do anything but say something. I'm very curious. Um, this tower is like the shock. It's like it's going to rock people's world that this actually happened or this person leveled up or this person got committed to that person, but they're equally yoked. So if you are not equally yoked with a person, there's going to be maybe a separation. If you're not equally yoked, all kinds of things could occur. The sun. I'm seeing somebody who wants to commit to a person and the answer is going to be yes. Heck, that might shock people like that person said yes. This is the offer making its way. And this is the yes answer. I mean, the magician and the sun are typically yes answers. This required somebody to hang up the towel in being immature and sneaky. <laughs> somebody here could have also been under energetic manipulation. We have the goat man to the magician, to the hangman, to the moon. It's like somebody could literally see what was being done to them. For some of you, someone had a revelation that they were under spiritual manipulation. Again, a bird took a dump. Ayo, this bird outside has impeccable timing. It's like every time something negative is said, squat. Interesting. A lot of majors here, a lot of majors. And it's almost like the reason why this yes is so affirmative is because it already happened in the spirit. It's like, yeah, as above, so below. <laughs> it happened already upstairs. So this yes is assured. Does that make sense? Weird, I know. Two of Wands. This person is planning. Someone is trying to outsmart the enemy in these plans. Excuse me, I'm seeing somebody moving forward and someone trying to come for this person. Who is this person? Because they're like interrupting such a beautiful thing. Someone might try to interrupt a person's proposal. <clears throat> Something could get interrupted in those areas. I don't know why I'm getting this energy of like someone trying to interrupt a person's progress, plans. It reads like for a proposal. Hmm. Empress. I'm swinging the deck on <clears throat> the angel again. And this offer again. Empress. <laughs> There's so much in these three cards that I don't even know how to explain, but it's like, if you know, you know. It's being patient for the right kind of offer and being accepting, receptive, and loving and reciprocal with it. But it's such a silent win. Um, it's not loud. It is, <laughs> it is what I described in just like calmly in a grounded way, accepting one's place and taking up so much space with that large energy. That's this. And it spreads. It's unbelievable. This energy is fabulous. Again, I just love being here. <laughs> it's like, wow. I'm just like swimming in divine feminine energy right now. I'm like, I just love it here. I would never leave. That's the effect you have on people. It's so beautiful. Um, again, speechless. It's temperance. It's like earth angel energy. Yeah, man. Be patient. Ooh, be patient. Look at the chill. That's why I said, ooh, I said be patient with your abundance. Be patient. And it's like, it, it already happened. It's already secured i don't know how to explain it and again what did you do you grew you evolved as a person 
you became a better person. You grew and worked on yourself. So it's like, it doesn't matter how the cookie crumbles. Someone here just knows it's coming. And it'll come from the right person. And that, that energy is so secure. I almost don't want to like harp on the who's, the what's, because it's again this delayed gratification, but silent reassurance. Two of Wands. Someone is working on these plans, working on their dreams, realizing this commitment. Someone could have been hurt in the past. You could have been hurt. Somebody who reflected on, their, on themselves. Someone could be working on their healing, whoever this counterpart is working on their healing. I see 1551, that is a mirrored number. Okay. Give me one second. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's continue. Yes, working on their healing, working on plans. Mm -hmm. Now, Again, this person, you may know this person, you may not know this person, you may have just met. But I'm just seeing, um, <clears throat> I'm going to, if I can, in a collective way, expand on this. Because this is a decision that upstairs has made for us, which is wild. It's like, how do I even channel that? And it's funny because now that this is coming through in this way, there is a reader who had picked up on some kind of court proceedings or some kind of deliberation or gathering about collective uh, soulmate energies. Um, it was wild. And I was like, huh? <laughs> now I'm literally seeing the decision and how it affects people in the physical world. So I'm going to see if I can expand on this decision. Because this feels like, oh, this this decision has been made upstairs and it's pairing two people together in union because somehow this marriage serves others, okay? Let's say they're a power couple. Who knows, right? But I'm seeing that here. That's, this is a contract. This marriage serves others. Tell me more about this decision. This is intense. This is something to do with karma. Because what happens when you marry a person, you and that person <laughs> then bind your energies together in a contract. Yeah, the three of pentacles, you work together, but their karma is your karma as well, good or bad, right? So somehow this contract, this soul contract serves both of them and others in a good way, okay? Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, it is so special. This is an angel. For some of you, there has even been like an energy assigned to these two to balance them out, to balance everything out. What the heck? What am I reading? We have the Wheel of Karma, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, we're doing this, we're doing a little bit of that, a little bit of this to make sure fate and destiny aligns like what am i reading the majors in here are ridiculous okay let's start there like the way i position them ridiculous <laughs> what am i reading all i wanted was a reading for a divine feminine how to prepare um for whatever wants to come your way next this is basically telling me you ain't got nothing to do nothing to prove as above so below silent reassurance delayed gratification you've already been through what you have to go through to basically claim this season so essentially advice do nothing <laughs> that's what i'm telling you don't exert over exert your energy be in as yin possible energy as possible <laughs> what did i just say yin possible energy as possible 
shout out to I'm Possible. <laughs> um, that's Tasha. And yeah, man, let fate decide to guide these lives we seek. Wait, that is a Tarzan song. Let fate decide. <laughs> That's so funny how I channeled that. That is a Tarzan song. These lives, I'm telling you that that song warms my soul. My father loved the movie Tarzan. I don't know the name. Two worlds. Oh my god. Oh, Phil Collins? Chills. Okay, again. This song, please go look it up. Please read the lyrics. Now that I know which song it is, it is literally sending chills up to my pinky toes. No exaggeration right now. That's why I want to be as grounded and chill for this reading as possible because... Um, Wow, all right. Where do I really even start? The song is from the soundtrack of the movie Tarzan. It's called Two Worlds by Phil Collins. It starts, put your faith in what you most believe in. Two worlds, one family, trust your heart. Let fate decide to guide these <laughs> lives we see a paradise untouched by man within this world blessed with love a simple life they live in peace omg softly tread the sand below your feet now two worlds one family trust your heart let fate decide to guide these lives we see beneath the shelter of the trees only love can enter here a simple life they live in peace Raise your head up, lift high the load. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take strength from those that need you. Build high the walls, build strong the beams. A new life is waiting, but dangers no stranger here. No words describe a mother's tears. No words can heal a broken heart. A dream is gone, but where there is hope, somewhere something is calling for you. Two worlds, one family. Trust your heart. Let fate decide to guide these lives we see. I'm the song is woven into the score and sets the musical tone and theme for the entire movie. The song appears numerous times during the film. The main theme tackles the struggle of belonging that the various characters experience and it eventually ends on the happy note that family can mean various things. This was a wild man. <laughs> and he linked up with Jane. <laughs> right? Anyways, he, he's like hanging out with the monkeys and the gorillas. And he met his person from a completely different world. And they made it work. Okay? They had to compromise. That could be a synchronicity. Maybe two people are from two separate worlds. But fate decided. They didn't have... <laughs> something to say about what calls them forward does that make sense it's a calling a calling is very powerful it it keeps coming back around it doesn't matter what happens what you go through if you have a calling when you are evolved enough you will fulfill that calling right you will accept it someone isn't okay with this calling <laughs> being fulfilled I'm just getting this energy. You don't have anything to do. Like, if you know this, if you know what your calling is, if you know how we, how things are supposed to unfold and you are in the divine feminine position, again, the feminine, <clears throat> the empress, I don't know why I'm like that. Maybe somebody here needs to understand what that means or, like, identify if that's them. Okay? I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like this. Maybe there's someone here who has a little bit confused. But um, I'm seeing somebody who's not okay with this. Who's very bitter about this coming together. But look at all of this energy. We have justice, the Hierophant, and an angel. This is my God card. This is karma playing out. And this is an angel. And then you have this pesky energy who's like, but I have something to say about it. Yeah, do you think these care? 
it's not going to change anything. Very, very fascinating, actually. Yeah, it's protect blocked. Okay. Very interesting. Let's expand on this Knight of Swords. Yeah, I mean, this Knight of Swords, what did I say? It's like they have something to say about it. I got drama and fights. This doesn't stand a chance to what has already been written in the stars. This is someone who wants to come and fight, maybe physically, maybe verbally. It's like, this is the kind of person that would literally run <laughs> to make it to these people's wedding and say, I object. I don't want, I have something to say about it. It's like, speak up now or forever, hold your peace. This one comes in wild they have okay so this is verbal communication so this is someone who wants to come in and say something about it Oof. interesting Oof. somebody might have to choose between two people a divine feminine might have like an option between two people and a person who's getting left behind is the one who objects <laughs> what the heck is this Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Who is in this Knight of Swords energy? Oof. It could be somebody a person broke up with. This is someone who has something to say about a union, about a soulmate. Came up funny. It's someone who doesn't give their blessing. They don't bless this union. They don't know. Who is this? <laughs> This is somebody who's maybe very manipulative with the magician. This is someone whose tricks aren't working anymore with the seven of cups in the reverse. It's like people can see through the fog now. Your manipulation isn't working. Again, be very mindful who you think is in this position. Because <laughs> the two of swords, exactly. You could be in denial of who this knight of swords is. This Knight of Swords could be your ex. This Knight of Swords could be an ex-friend, an ex-lover, an ex-somebody who didn't make the cut. Right now, certain cuts are being made. Okay? And you need to sit back and leave the floor open for who and what feels like end game. And the energies that disagree with the end game are going to start coming out of the woodworks, okay? They're argumentative. But again, it has already been signed on the dotted line in the ethers. Whether people here believe in that stuff or not. That's why there's like this silent reassurance. You are no longer confused about the BS or about pretty pictures people want to paint for you, you'll feel it in the depths of your being, what is and what is not. So don't get confused, don't get worried, and don't try to even imagine who this is right now, because this could play out in a month or two, where it's like, oh wow. <laughs> for example, my parents met and got engaged within two weeks or something, <laughs> or a month or something. They knew the minute they crossed paths and they were married for 20 something years until my father passed. They would have been together for 31 years. Was he still alive? But anyway, don't assume you don't, I feel for some of you, you're not sure yet. Tell me more about this one. Who is this one? Show yourself this is a very insecure individual they're not independent yet so it's like whether they lack confidence whether they lack stability in the self they're ungrounded maybe they're codependent this is someone who's going to communicate as well because they're insecure about where they're at in life and they disagree with this final verdict that upstairs has made okay I had said in the last reading, one of the last readings I had done, that I had tried to warn somebody about certain choices that they make. I was like, you know, it's important 
that you make certain choices for your highest good in this season because you know the choices we make right now are going to paint our future because i felt it in my being i had sent it out it never made it to that person it was like something with the communication was wrong i don't know what i don't think this person ever read that right i wasn't supposed to say anything but it also i'm getting intuitively it doesn't matter because certain decisions have already been made it's like <laughs> yeah I can pour milk in my coffee, but it's not going to change the fact that my coffee tastes terrible. You understand? <laughs> yeah, I can add five cups of sugar, but it doesn't mean that the coffee is going to taste any better. It's like, yeah, Chanel, you could have wanted to be nice and warn this person about certain things, but karma is already dishing out based on decisions upstairs have already come to a conclusion about. That's why spirit is like, stop exerting, exhausting your energy on things that have already been decided. Seriously. And you're going to see in the next season, where did the chips fall? You're, you're not even, listen, I have this weird like element of surprise in this air. Like you have no clue what has already been decided. But you have to be at peace with either. Sit back, watch, be patient and observant because this season is going to be very interesting. And the person who's objecting to this union that you have secured for you is, is off balance and insecure. They're also, ooh, they're also behind the scenes mourning, okay? I feel like this person also energetically feels this ending or they are like, they're like maybe showing face because the moon is very pretentious now. This is what's hiding behind the moon, regrets. This is what's hiding behind the moon, maybe depression. Yeah, feeling feeling left out in the cold of what could have been. The Ten of Pentacles is having it all. This is them in the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who doesn't get a seat at your table. For whatever reason, that upstairs has already decided why. Again, there's this weird energy of you don't know who is who until it fully plays out. Does that make sense? You might have already seen certain signs that, hey, this person no longer is here. This person, uh, everything is, <laughs> it's like it's only now showing up, but it has already been decided. I feel since last year. Stacy had that dream. I think it was, I don't know if it was November. Was it last year? I don't know. Stacy, when did you have that dream? But I'm seeing where it's like playing out of the cards. Dang. Tell me more about this person. They're rejected. I can't make it up. They have missed an opportunity here. Whether it be to be your friend, whether it to be this person beside you, they four of cups is they rejected the opportunity. They're living in La La Land. They maybe let their fears get the best of them. They maybe let pretense and lies get the best of them. They're insecure, ungrounded, not confident in themselves. They've rejected a gift from God. Oh my gosh. For some of you, there's something here that reads like a gift. This is why they're stressing. They're so nervous. There's something here that don't sit right with me in this person's anxieties about this new beginning for someone with an ordained spouse wow yeah ace of cups that's another gift this is new love for some of you a new start in love you could get pregnant <laughs> by this person you well you end up marrying for some of you where you're of childbearing age there's someone here who objects against all of this like no 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 who is that Whoa. 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 Damn. Damn, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Life is to be celebrated. Life is always to be celebrated. King of Water. Knight of Cups. The person 
there's someone here who holds a lot of love a lot of love <laughs> a lot of love that wants to be expressed judgment the calling someone's love okay whoever this is this could be a new love i'm not assuming this new love is a water sign um but this is just like someone with so much feelings with a place that it needs to go and um this calling will occur if not already okay the calling is in that song okay <laughs> the song that i just explained someone's love someone has been gifted love um the love within them is what is going to push them forward okay in committing mm -hmm. queen of swords ten of swords there could be someone who feels bitter the person who's ungrounded might feel bitter and betrayed why is the queen of swords here death card yeah because there's an ending that occurs it's almost like someone getting married someone um moving forward in these ways somebody knows like oh wow it's really over then yeah man or woman it's like someone realizes oh once this person secures this it's like wow it's over with mm -hmm. that's how the cookie crumbles four of coins somebody here might hold on to a grudge King and Queen of Swords are like typically X energies. And I'm seeing somebody holding on to something, but it's not really beneficial to anyone. Somebody might see a person as like bad news. Yeah, Spirit is saying just move forward. The cycle is closing out. Don't overextend yourself. Maybe right now is a good time to self isolate and reflect at what's going on because I'm just seeing like little pieces shifting around. And you have to be okay with what that means for your life because right now is not a time to resist what's just organically cycling through. The calling, I'm going to take a leap of faith. I can't wait to spoil your heart. I miss you more than I'd like to admit. Okay. I feel an eternal bond between us. For some of you, this is a second chance. For others of you, it is no second chances and a new person entirely. And that ex is who is like <laughs> showing up to your wedding unannounced. Yeah, for some of you, it is a person who ran from you, who blames themselves, that is now seeing the light of day and seeing the clarity in their behavior. This is someone who could have put you in a third party, which denies them access from having a new beginning with you. And now they're stuck stalking your social media. Whatever. <laughs> Again, may the chips fall, fall where they need to. I hope it wasn't too confusing, but I really get this weird energy of we don't know fully what has been decided for us upstairs. But it will pan out the way it needs to. I just definitely see marriage here for Defined Feminine Energies. Yep, it's coming this season. Yep, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there planning and setting a date now for some of you as i said this could be a new person that's kind of why i mentioned that like example of my parents and how they met and how it was like this and there was no resistance and <laughs> there was no back and forth it was just like oh yeah i know you're yeah i know you're okay <laughs> yeah 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 there's this um i love you you love me i love you okay let's do this <laughs> so silly <laughs> Well, like, hey, <laughs> that's how I got here. I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> anyways, dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Yeah, man, this clarity is going to be so freeing. 
um, adapt, change the circumstances or change with the flow of things, heal, cycle things out because there's some kind of romance that's going to kick up here in your life. Mm -hmm. meeting and conversing someone wants to take you out talk to you have a little chit chat <laughs> there could be someone who is going through nasty fights with the karmic energy this is someone who could have gone through a delayed spiritual awakening Very fascinating energy. Let me see if there's anything else. Be mindful of a love bombing energy that wants to sabotage a new connection. I have the Knight of Cups Crooked and the Seven of Swords. There's someone here, so that's the thing. Like That's why I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, really weed out the wheat from the chaff in this season because i'm seeing energies that want to come in court who are just doing it maybe even temporarily to sabotage you from this ordained energy i'm telling you it reads like oh i want to charm the pants off this person in a deceptive way so that I can compete with whoever is meant for them. Who is who? Who is who? <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah, oh, Femmes. What are we gonna do? Hmm? What are we to do? What are we gonna do? So funny. From the first, from the very first moment that I looked into your eyes, I knew that we belonged together like yin and yang. What did I say about my parents? That is the cutest thing. My dad's like, mm -hmm, like, haha, my dad's here. Um, his energy is definitely in this reading because that song download, definitely his. And I just spoke of how my parents met. And this is the card that came out of all of them. From the very first moment that I looked into your eyes, I knew that we belonged together. It's like, uh-huh, yeah, you're it, yeah, you're it, yeah, you're it. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so cute. Aw, that's so nice. This says, I ran away from you in this connection because it was just too intense and I couldn't handle how I was feeling at the time. I was just not ready for a love so great. So for some of you, there's someone here who wasn't ready to step up in those ways. And then there's a person's energy who is ready to step up in those ways, okay? May the best man or woman win. All right. Let's see if we can get some romance angels. This energy is really interesting. It's kind of why I'm still hanging around. I have no idea how, <laughs> how long this reading is going to be. Listen, I have at least a few nice cocktail dresses, so I want invitations to all y'all weddings, okay? Speak of weddings, I got retreats. Don't they look like mm -hmm, they're gonna get married? <laughs> to the chapel, gonna get married. My aunt, my father's sister, she would always sing that song and like laugh at me. Like, I don't know why. Whenever she would talk about like love stories, she's like, oh, to the chapel, gonna get married. That's literally the song I heard. Um, <laughs> Rian, the Aliskan. That was her. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This could be a new person as well. Uh, anyways, free yourself. For some of you, you're still restricted in some ways. It's time to take back control of your life. If you feel like something has been holding you up in life, free your energy, keep an open mind, and sit back. Because again, I'm just seeing these puzzle pieces move around based on what has been decided upstairs, okay? So, okay, last deck. <laughs> I wanted to say that is what I have for you. So let's use this last deck.
celebrations, all kinds. I'm hearing all kinds of celebrations, okay? I put you on a pedestal. You are gonna be put on a pedestal this season. And um, you're not even gonna be weird about it. You're just gonna be like, yep, this is what I worked all these years on. <laughs> That's what it feels like. That is such a nice feeling though. That is so nice. And it's not boastful. Like you guys aren't boastful. You guys are none of that. I just see birds flying over my head. That is definitely a lot of talk. But your energy is just so calm and like sturdy and graceful and knowing that it's deserved, right? Like the suffering you went through, my goodness. I miss our long conversations. Moving in together is in the reverse. Maybe someone needs to move out. I hate being apart from you. This could be an ex of yours. Can we talk? I'm, t I'm telling you. <laughs> I keep hearing who is who. Discern your energy, their energy. I'm feeling at least two energies here. Gaslighting in the reverse. Someone here knows that they cannot gaslight you or they know that they best not gaslight you. There's something here about this season, like people's crooked, I repeat, crooked behaviors are going to start giving the divine feminines the ick to a point where they will run to the hills, okay? There's an energy here who knows they cannot screw this up with you by being manipulative in any form or fashion. There is this really big red line that I'm seeing in my mind's eye where someone's like, if you so much as fart negative intentions, you will go through the door. There's this energy because it's already been decided. It's like affirmative. <laughs> I'm feeling it. It's so strong. There's someone here who's apart from you because they can't gaslight you. So it's like new tricks or are you just going to stop playing tricks? This is someone who could have been booted out of your life because of this. Yeah, man, your intuition, you have to rely on your inner knowing. Because I'm seeing this trifling energy who thinks they can get one up over you, whether it be a new person or an old person, by coming in with these slick games. Man, this is a confusing reading. Unbreakable bond. There's a, there's a tether here. I'm hearing lifetimes. Lifetimes. <clears throat> Loyalty and dedication. There's somebody here who wants to come in on a loyal, loyal front. It's like, hi. <laughs> How are you doing? This dog. And that's crazy. I've had so many dreams with dogs. There was one, this dream I had last night. It's so funny I'm seeing this dog. I had a dream of this very big like protective dog breed with the thickest shiniest coat it was insane this dog had a very big head big body and it looked like a show dog um fabulous i was so impressed but dogs are symbols of loyalty okay wow there's intimacy energy here as well look i'm telling you uh, married and i want to make love to you I'll make love to you like you want me to, baby. <laughs> I'm not going to start singing. Is this reading? Oh my God, I need you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, this person, the calling of the divine is going to compel this person to be so, I don't know, romantic. I don't know. And it has to be genuine. Because nothing manipulative is going to make it past the Divine Feminine's doorstep. It's so insane, but it's like you'll know who had the calling in their spirit to be your ordained spouse by the way they move, okay? So don't rush in your decisions. Is this person being manipulative? Is this person trying to fool you? Is this person dragging you into third parties? Is this person being this, that, and the third? Use your nose, <laughs> your spiritual eye, and sniff it out, okay? But I'm telling you, there's this very like R&B music, romantic, sappy love song energy in this reading that is kind of making me blush, but it's so funny. This person needs you, okay? They have to feel like they deserve you too. This is, I deserve you. It'll be the calling. This person's gonna be very adamant about the position they feel they have to take up as your partner. 
interesting something dropped in me the person who might be like hating on your ordained decision or the decision made upstairs they could be too somebody who feels entitled to you that's weird so it's like the person that you're going to be partnering up with or marrying <laughs> The person external to the situation might also feel entitled to someone. It's like, but I object this couple coming together because I'm the rightful person. So <laughs> that's wild. Isn't that wild? I'm, I'm literally, it dropped in my spirit. Not only the person that you are going to be marrying, which is going to be like, it's going to be an easy call. It's like the same way my parents just knew. You're going to just know. That person that you end up marrying, the, the person external to the situation, whether it be on your side or your partner's side, I feel your side, Divine Feminine, that person's going to feel like, but you were meant for me. Who is who? But you were meant for me. I can't even find the card, this one. This person actually feels entitled to marrying you. Whoever this said, who is who here? There's a hater who feels entitled to it. I don't know how long this reading is. It's a pretty long reading. Please explain this Knight of Swords energy before I finish. Wow, new beginning and expecting. For some of you, this is someone who feels entitled because they wanted uh, a child for someone. They're like, well, I'm entitled to you because I want, for some of you, this could be someone who we have evidence of cheating. Maybe somebody wants to come forward and say, oh, well, this person cheated. Oh, this person did this. Oh, this person did that. I'm getting a very pesky energy here. Wow. <laughs> this could be someone's ex-baby mom or ex-baby dad for some of you. This is so weird. This is so weird. Yes, this could be someone that a person hung out with. Meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, doing more than working out. This is someone that a person didn't have a serious thing with, but this person was serious about them, whether you or vice versa. There's someone here who definitely objects, okay? For some of you, this is an lo ex-lover. This could be an ex-friend or family member. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. This was very entertaining, kind of funny, um, again. Let the chips fall where they need to, okay? And that is what I have for you. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.